Hi Sheepsters, hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, we're talking shoes. So if you want the scoop on the top shoe trends for in summer 2021, then you are in the right place. Keep on watching. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Chi Chan. On this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. So if that sounds like the kind of stuff you're into, then ooh, get comfortable. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first true trend we're gonna talk about was going to be <laughs> what some have dubbed the trapped toes. So basically, trapped toes are another way of saying like really strappy wraparound sandals. This is not necessarily a new trend. It's been around for several seasons and different iterations, but I think that it's really having a moment this season. A perfect example would be this style. Now this is a square toe. So, you know, the square toe was definitely popularized by our friends at um, Bottega. And then you have all of these straps, this netting, this caging, and then you also have, you know, the straps that go around your ankle, and then you have like a structural heels so I feel like this shoe really encompasses a lot of different trends with the structural heels with the wrap and with the shape of the shoe okay and of course the color if you haven't seen my spring trends video definitely you know the pink is having its moment and this shade is just gorgeous okay so if you don't already own this style of shoe definitely consider investing in it I personally like um, these styles of shoes in bright colors just because they're very you know the, the straps are very thin and so I feel like the brighter the um, the shoe the more statement it makes and this is another example this is in a coral color this has a lower heel it's more of like a flip-flop style but it also has all of the extra straps it also wraps around the ankle so if you like this trend now is the time to grab yourself a pair or two or three. Now the next shoe trend is one that should not be a surprise to you and that's going to be the mule. I feel like um, Gucci was the one who kind of like brought the mule back when they brought out their um, backless loafers and every year ever since we've been seeing some version of the mule and this year <laughs> is no exception. Bottega again heavily influencing in my opinion you know, the shoe trends for the last two or three season. And this is a perfect example of another Bottega style pair. So remember what I talked about the square toes, they popularized the square toes last year. I remember making this video last year and you guys had a lot to say about those mesh square toed um, heels. Well, I feel like the square toe is finally growing on most of us. And I really like this shoe, one, for the height. Two, this detail right here is like, it feels like a cloud on your toes. It's so extremely comfortable, but I do like that the fact that it's wider on the side and kind of like tightens up in the middle, you know, let your pedicure shine. And then of course, the fact that it's a thicker heel just means you get a little bit more comfort. It's also padded really, really well. Um, if you guys can hear noise, I'm sorry, the school bus just rolled by. But anyways, this right here, I think is the perfect example of the mule trend. Of course, there are different versions of this trend. If you're looking for something a little bit more strappy, they have, I've seen options like that. If you want a pop of color, this also comes in a couple colors. It comes like a snake skin, it comes in like a blue, I think it comes in like a lilac color, and everyone, I mean everyone who has gotten these mules have raved about how comfortable they are. So if you don't own a pair of mules and you're looking to refresh, you know, cause it's summer 21, we're hoping, fingers crossed, <laughs> we're gonna have a summer this year. If you're looking to refresh, then I recommend a pair of mules. As a creator, as a blogger, as a fashion blogger, I love these because literally I don't have to worry about no straps. I don't have to worry about nothing, no buckles, nothing. I just put my foot in this and be on my merry way. So the next big shoe trend we're gonna talk about is going to be the platform trend. Now, this is one of those trends that's kind of like, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like this year specifically, or in the last two years, I don't know. I feel like we're going back to the 90s or the early 2000s because I remember when platforms 
were having a moment. The two different times they were having a moment. First, the thick platform slides. I remember those shoes in middle school. I remember when we were rocking those. And then of course the thick platform sandals. I believe they had a huge moment sometime early 2000s. Well, they're back. And I really think the reason why some of these shoe trends are coming back is because of comfort. You know, we've been trapped in the house for all of this time and ain't nobody got time for no stilettos. Ain't nobody got time for uncomfortable shoes. So I really think that designers are, you know, sometimes I feel like the fashion world, they don't, they don't, you know, they don't understand what's happening in the real world. But I think right now the designers are definitely tapping into, you know, their audience and like what, how everybody's feeling in this moment. So platforms are definitely having a moment. I almost picked up this pair. And if you're seeing it on my foot, that means I went back and got it. It was super affordable. I will link it for you down below, but you can do um, a platform uh, slide like this for everyday running errands, etc., etc. I've seen these high and low. I know Gucci has a pair that my girl Monroe Steele has talked about here. Well, I shouldn't say my girl because I don't even know her like that. But I, um, but you know when you watch someone and you feel like you know them. But anyways, I've seen her um, rave about these Gucci slides. And I've also seen the same um, styles. I've also seen like slides, platform slides like this at Walmart. So, you know, getting wherever you fit in is a comfortable shoe trend that you can wear all spring and summer long. Now, on this flip side, if you want something of a bit, uh, if you want like a heel, I love the vibes that you get from these like super thick platform heeled sandals. It gives me total 70s vibe. And if you know me, I have a thing for the 70s and the 60s and just that era in fashion. So I'm here for it. Pair it with like wide leg pants, which are also having a moment right now. But you could also pair it with little dresses and it's comfortable for the most part. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than the stiletto. So definitely check them out. Of course, all of the shoe trends that I mentioned in this video, I will do my very best to link multiple options for my sisters, especially those of us who wear extended sizes, size 11, size 12, sis, I will make sure to have options for you because we deserve cute shoes and an affordable price point too. We do, we do. <laughs> okay, so the next trend is going to be the dad sandal trend. And this is a trend that's really not that new, but I feel like these trends that were more of micro trends a couple of years ago, are definitely having a moment right now just because of the comfort level, right? So ugly shoe trends, you know, you guys know that the combat boot was like at fever pitch for fall and winter. And I feel like the trekkers trends is going to be the spring and summer version of the combat boot, something that you can wear to run errands on the weekend casually that's easy that's comfortable something that you can stay on your feet on that's gonna be this shoe now again I have seen this style of shoe at different price points like all the way to super high-end like Chanel has made them super popular all the way to this pair that I got for $12 at Walmart, okay? So for me, you know, you have to decide like how much you wanna invest in a trend. And when something's new-ish to you, I always recommend that you do it on the more affordable side. And then if you love it and you want to splurge on it, you can totally splurge on it. Then I'm trying to splurge on this trend. So I decided to go for something like super affordable like this. Um, I've seen dupes for the Chanel ones. Kurt Geiger has a really some really nice dupes for the Chanel ones. I've also seen dupes for the Chanel ones ones on ASOS. I'm pretty sure Public Desire and Ego Shoes will have dupes as well. So I'm going to make sure to link them down below. But if you're feeling saucy and you know you want to invest in the Chanel, I personally really like the tan color or the beige color. I think it's just something that it's a little bit more unique because I feel like this style of shoe typically comes in black. So if you weren't wanted something that looked elevated, expensive, chic, all of those um, descriptives, then I would go for the beige or the tan colored quilted, I think it's quilted, tweed um, version. Of course, I will link all the options for this trend for you guys down below. I've seen versions of those, even on Fashion Nova, I saw a version of those, like the, um, the cream colored tweed. Obviously, it's not the same as the Chanel, but you know what? Like I say, getting where you fit in when it comes to these trends. So the dad sandal trend is not going anywhere. Sis is going strong. I definitely see you being able to rock it this year, possibly next year, if not the year after that. All right, I, I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely make sure to hit that like button, especially if you want more videos like this. Also make sure to subscribe because if you love fashion, sis, this is the place to be, okay? <laughs>
All right, so I do have one more bonus for you guys when it comes to shoe trend. Now, if you watched my spring and summer fashion trends video, you know that I shared some trends that I would not be caught dead in. And this season, I'm gonna be sharing with you one shoe trend that you cannot pay me to wear, and that's going to be the clog, okay? Every now and again, they somebody tries to bring the clog back. Somebody tries to bring the clog back. And I'm just like, who are you, sir? Who are you trying to bring these clogs back? No, we do not want clogs. Okay, if you wear clogs, <laughs> This is not an attack on you. It's more about me since I'm not wearing no clogs. Um, I, you know, I never understood why we liked them so much when we did growing up and I still don't understand what the hype is about clogs. But anyway, um, so yes, the clog is one shoe trend that you won't be catching me in. And if in a year's or two you see me rocking the clog, then um, call me out on it. I'm one to say never say never. I know myself well enough to know that I change my mind all the time about fashion. So, <laughs> but as of this moment, sis is not rocking the clog. All right, so I wanna hear from you. What's one trend? It could be shoes, it could be bags, it can be clothing this season that they couldn't pay you to wear, that you would not wear if you were paid to wear. I would love to know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And when I am not on these YouTube streets, um, you can always find me on Instagram. Come over, come say hi. We would love to have you slide in those DMs. I love chatting with you guys. I also share like all of my new and stuff there first. So you get the tea first. So, you know, just in case, you know, you, you're interested in that, definitely come on over to Instagram and I'm sure you will love this video and this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.